Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chicago Bulls My League. And this is a big, big video in the Chicago Bulls My League here in this Indiana Pacers series. We just lost game four after in the last episode we won game three that I did play in. We took the two to one series advantage. Then we lost game three or game four, I meant to say. And it's, it's tied at two. Then we lost game five by 15 points. We're down. 3 to 2, is that right? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Game 6, though, this could be for the series, but thankfully we blew them out 124 to 95 at home in Game 6 to even the series up at three and give ourselves a chance it's kind of risky going for that game six simulating instead of playing it myself but i wanted to get to the game seven and game seven in indiana with our star player jimmy butler coming out for the starting five introduction for the chicago bulls now here comes paul george the atmosphere for this game seven is incredible so excited to get this game underway paul george he is hype indiana is hype this is going to be a great game seven, and we'll have to see how close it comes down to the wire. Here's the starting fives, the same as it has been all series long. As like I said before, they're missing Monte Ellis and CJ Miles, so they do start Rodney Stuckey at the two. But let's get this one underway with the tip off, needing this victory to move on in the playoffs to face, as you saw earlier, the Cleveland Cavaliers in the semifinals of the Eastern Conference. Let's get this one started. Pau Gasol, Miles Turner, let's see what can happen. Wait, we do we do win the jump ball right there. That was Ian Mahimney, actually not Miles Turner. But here's a pull-up jumper by Derrick Rose on the baseline. That's the way to start out this game. Two to nothing. Now here's George Hill. He's gonna get Derrick Rose spin around the screen, but he's gonna bang the three at the top of the key to give them a lead. Now five to four gonna give us one Pau Gasol. Pump fake. Gets Ian Mahimney jumping, and Pau Gasol's gonna throw that one down. Take the eight to seven lead. Here's Rodney Stuckey. Rodney Stuckey being guarded by McDermott. He just drives right by McDermott and gets the layup. Take the eleven eight lead. Here's George Hill on the break. He's gonna go up strong. He's going to miss that one, but there they get the offensive rebound out to Jordan Hill, and Jordan Hill is going to make, make a little mid-range jump shot. 14-8 they are up now. Rodney Stuckey's going to get this one. Yamahimi back to Rodney Stuckey, and he's going to hit the mid-range jumper. They're up 16-8 to here early. Not a good start. Here's Jimmy Butler trying to get him going. I just noticed that that's just way too much space. Got to hit that with Jimmy Butler if they're not going to guard him. Now 16-10. to We are down. Going to give this one out to McDermott on the break. Going to pass this one over to Derrick Rose, who throws it down. A nice look by McDermott. And that's going to be a nice throw down for Derrick Rose. Now we are down by four still. George Hill passes it in to Rodney Stuckey. A nice pass after a nice backdoor cut. And they are by six once again. Here's Rodney Stuckey coming around a double screen. Fading on that jump shot but hits it. They're up eight. Now still up eight. We have the ball here. Going to dish this one over to Marotich. Marotich going to fly way across court to Mike Dunleavy. But Dunleavy is going to knock that one down. It's a five-point game. Here's Zeller backing down. He's going to kick this one out to Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley hits the three ball. And now it's a four-point game. Paul George trying to make a move. Marotich can't really guard Paul George. This is a bad match for us. He's going to pull up jumper and one for Paul George. A nice shot. Nice finish by Paul George on the mid-range jumper after Marotich knocks him down and converts that free throw to go up seven. Now here we are at the ball. We're going to kick this one to Bobby Portis out to Dunleavy. Dunleavy hits another three. He had two big threes here in the first quarter. Tie game at 25. Here's Paul George making a move. He's going to drive. He goes between the legs, and he finishes that one. A tough finish. 27-25. Last second. Dunleavy spin. The Zeller. Zeller hits that one to go at .2 seconds. It's going to be a tie ball game at the end of the first quarter. They really seem to dominate us there at the start of that first quarter. But we came back there at the second part of that first quarter, and we were, eight, we were able to tie it up 27-27 going into the second quarter. Into the second quarter, now here's George Hill. Pull up three. No good. Offensive rebound, though, by Jan Mahimi. And Jan Mahimi gets that one to go down by two. Now here's Jimmy Butler crossing over. He's going to dish this one to Pau Gasol. Nice left-handed flush. He ties that game right back up. Here's Jimmy Butler with a mismatch with Jordan Hill on him, but he's going to dish this one inside the Pau Gasol with a nice throwdown. Good job by Jimmy Butler getting into the paint and making that work. Now we get kicks one out to McDermott. Perfect release. That one is good. We go up by three. Finally taking a lead in this game. Now here's Solomon Hill. An awkward jumper fading away, but he gets it to go. Tie game. George Hill, this just went into Jordan Hill. It's going to be missed, but Jan Mahimi comes out of nowhere for the putback slam. Nice job out right there by Jan Mahimi. He's really getting some good minutes here in the first half. 
Stuckey kicks this one up to George Hill. George Hill back to Stuckey for a nice layup to take the four-point lead. Now Paul George at the top of the key. He's always dangerous, especially Marotic on him. He's going to get the pull-up jumper to go after he drives right around him. We're down by eight now. Need a big-time bucket. Aaron Brooks going to drive. This was one. This that one that Marotic. Marotic gets that one to go with the and one. And he's able to convert the free throw at the line. Now we are down by five here, getting towards the end of the first half. Deep three with the shot clock winding down, and it's going to be hit by Avery Bradley. Ridiculous three-pointer. Surprised he got that one to go, but I'm glad he got that one to go. We are tied here now on a nice drive. It's going to give them a lead here late in the first half, but we did convert two free throws at the end of the half to tie this game up. 50-50, to 50, a very good first half. We need to cut down on turnovers. They have no turnovers at the half, which is pretty impressive. But we need to get things going, and we need to rebound the ball a lot better than we have so far. Let's see if we can get this Game 7 victory on the road in Indiana. Let's go to the second half. Into the second half now, here's Paul George driving. He's going to get this one to George Hill. George Hill again, just run around him. He finds a wide open mid range jumper. He gets that one to go. Here's Derrick Rose at the top of the key now doing a little dribble moves. He drives right by George Hill, throws that one down. Derrick Rose, you kidding me? Be nice to the rim. Down two now, here's Derrick Rose coming off a screen. He's going to dish this one across the court to McDermott. Perfect release. He loves that corner, and he gets another three to go. Up by one now here in the third quarter. Here's Stuckey. Stuckey dished this one to George Hill. Derrick Rose got lost. Looks like he's playing some kind of James Harden type defense. Off ball, and they get the and one and convert. Tie game now. Here's Mahimi dishing it to the right side. There's Paul George. Fade away. He gets that one to go. We cannot let him take over this game. They're up by one now. George Hill getting the screen. Mid-range jumper. They beat, they beat us all day at that mid-range jumper. I'm not going to lie. That was a nice shot. Then here's Miles Turner with the pump fake. He drives and he's able to finish with his right hand. They go up by five. Now up by five, here's Derrick Rose at the top of the key. He's going to get a screen from Taj Gibson, but he drives right through the middle of the lane and throws that one down. Derrick Rose just was mean to the rim. I told him to be careful with the rims, but he isn't listening. But here's Jimmy Butler on the break, and he's going to tie this game up at 70. Going to keep this run going. Going to kick this one up to Avery Bradley. Dish this to Jimmy Butler with a nice, nice finish there on the break. And we are really playing some good basketball now. 74-72, to 72, your Chicago Bulls do have the lead at the end of the third quarter. Can we win the fourth quarter and win this series against the Indian Pacers? Let's find out here as we are into the fourth quarter. They're going to dish this one out to Paul George, wide open on the wing to knock down that three-pointer. He's going to try to take over here in the fourth quarter. He ties that one up. Now step back by Paul George, a beautiful fadeaway. Paul George is starting to take over this game all by himself to take the two-point lead. Here's Derrick Rose driving. He's going to kick this one out to McDermott. McDermott's going to step into a three, and he's going to knock that one down. It's a big-time shot by McDermott. Here's Paul George with Todd Gibson on. That's a mismatch, but we're going to come over and block that one from the weak side. Kicking this one up to Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose on the break. Oops, that one to McDermott. And that's a big swing of momentum. Here's Paul George again getting the screen. He drives around a man. Going for the dunk. Swatted once again. Paul George could not find anything easy at the rim. And on the break, we're going to oop it again. Derrick Rose finishes that one. And the momentum has swung to the Chicago Bulls. But here's Paul George quieting the crowd with a big time three pointer. They needed that one now here he's on the inbounds play with another jumper that's five straight for Paul George we're up by one here here's Derrick Rose nice pump fake pull up jumper is good Derrick Rose with a nice move right there we're up by three Paul George gets his man jumping a nice pull up jumper right back but he misses it Jordan Hill offensive rebound put back is good now we are by one here's Todd Gibson with the pump fake going to the rim the pump fakes are working the fundamentals are working here in the fourth quarter here's a steal by Rodney Stuckey though on Jimmy Butler he's gonna take this one right to the basket he's gonna get blocked but they're gonna get the rebound and they're gonna put that one in Jan Mahimi does that exactly. Jimmy Butler on the right wing trying to make a play for the team. He's going to get around his man on the screen. He's going to get a nice left-handed finish there. We're up by three. About a minute left. They're going to find their man Paul George who dishes it in to Jordan Hill who gets the finish. We're still up three though here. The minute left. Paul George inbounds play. Mid-range jumper is good. We have the one-point lead here. Derrick Rose going to drive. Derrick Rose again double team. He's going to throw it away. No. Paul, Paul Gasol gets it. He's going to get a nice left-handed dish to Derrick Rose. That's a big-time play. One we definitely needed out of our star players, Pau Gasol and Derrick Rose. One-two combination. Now a three-point game. They're going to have to try to hit a three or a quick bucket here. George, George Hill has this one. He's going to get a screen. George Hill around the screen. He's looking for a man. He tries to dish it inside, and Taj Gibson with the steal. And he's going to knock down both free throws. And we take the 195 lead. Here might be their last possession, our last hopes. They're going to give it to Jordan Hill. Kick it back out to Yamahimi. Yamahimi to George Hill. George Hill for three. That one's no good. And the re 
rebound by Jimmy Butler is going to end this game. They're going to have one last chance. We're up by 8, 103, 95. This is going to be a last second heave by Solomon Hill that does go in with 0.2 seconds left. But we do get the win. Game 7 came down to the wire, and we were able to knock down enough free throws at the end to get the win in Game 7 in Indiana. What a win by the Chicago Bulls. Moving on to play the Cleveland Cavaliers, and that was impressive showing. The Chicago Bulls had right there just made enough plays at the end of the game to win it throughout the whole entire game is just so close the whole series was so close we've got one at home or in Indiana in the first two games one game three then they went on a streak then we won the last two and it was just a nice outing by the Chicago Bulls I'm glad we got that win but we do have much 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 tougher tests facing the Cleveland Cavaliers later on and or once I show you guys in this next episode we will be in the Eastern Conference semifinals I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode i enjoyed playing it i enjoyed bringing it to you hope you guys did enjoy as always i'm out peace